Well, it is my great pleasure to introduce Marianne Ibrahim, uh, owner of Marianne Ibrahim Gallery. And in the midst of uh, installing this incredible show, you're letting us in. You are very gracious. Thank you, Thank so, you so much. Coming. So before we delve into the new show, the new exhibit, Maroons, I wanted the audience to understand a bit of what your vision is for the artists that you work with and the work that you represent. My focus was to introduce mostly uh, contemporary African art and photography. And through the years, I broadened the vision, um, welcoming artists from different countries and also uh, working with mixed media installation and videos. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the vision of the, uh, the gallery is, it's actually, it's building. Mm -hmm. It's building. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. It's, yeah, it's building. And, um, and so far, it's been a, a great journey. Mm -hmm. oh, the work is amazing. Your artists are amazing. All right, Maroons by Fabrice Montero. It's going up now. You've shown Fabrice before. Um, what is the premise of this, of this show? It was the first work that I have um, seen of Fabrice Montero. Maroons um, is coming from the word cimarron, mm -hmm. a Spanish word that was used to describe mostly animals that were domesticated who gone wild. Mm -hmm. And it was um, then associated with fugitive slaves, mm -hmm. and um, the Maroons represented a threat for the established colonial system, mm -hmm. because at any moment they could just rise and then create... Riot or yeah, uh, riot. And, and then create a civil war. Mm -hmm. And so Fabrice was very much interested in, in exposing um, the punishment that were inflicted to those um, fugitive slaves who tried to escape. Tried to escape. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this series is actually a reconstruction, a historical reconstruction of the Afro-Atlantic um, history. Mm -hmm. And it, it's dealing with um, the, the book that was written by a French it called was the Code Noir. The Code Noir. And that was what specifically? And the book will just detail um, this, a series of punishment and um, objects and shackles that were used to discourage any, any slave. So to basically flee. to make an example, if you escape, this is what we are going to do to you in Absolutely. terms of these shackles. Okay. Absolutely. So these shackles are actual representation. He made them accurately. So he was able to extract those drawings and ask a Beninese blacksmith to um, create to, the, to, to its life size. So most of those objects are, would be very difficult to see in, in, in the institution and museums. Mm -hmm. So the importance of using those shackles in modern photography mm -hmm. was a way and an advocacy that Fabrice wanted to highlight and show that heritage um, he has, that, that humanity that we all share. And his history is very personal mm -hmm. to this because his it's part of his family history. His ancestor was actually captured. Fabrice's Fabrice's ancestor, ancestor was captured. Uh, and he was sent to Brazil. A few years later, he was able to come back to his um, village mm -hmm. uh, with a new name, Pedro Montero. So Montero is actually coming from the name that has been given to his ancestor uh, back then. And um, so naturally, it was... Um, very important for, for Fabrice to, mm -hmm. to go into that history and be able to understand what has happened. And when he took these photos, he had these um, shackles um, manufactured or created by a blacksmith. Mm -hmm. And then he went to a town and he asked people to pose with yes. these on. He went back uh, to, his, to his family um, hometown, Ouida. Uh, Wida is very important in the slave trade history because mm -hmm. it was the point of no return. There was actually uh, the place, it was called the door of no return. This was where the slaves would embark from that particular part, to Wida, to be sent in uh, South America, in the Caribbean, and also in the north part of America. When you look at the photos and you see the faces on these people, what, what do you see? 
today there are more more um, persecutions. Mm -hmm. Slavery continue to exist. Mm -hmm. Domination um, using race is also mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. So when I see those images, I, I just I just see my own reflection. Mm -hmm. I see I see my humanity, and I also see the lack of humanity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I know that these um, photographs. Are, you're extremely protective of them, and they will not be sold to private collectors. Is this correct? Well, the strategy is this is something that is for the people. Mm -hmm. This is something that you should be in historic book, historical books, in history books, in, in institutions for, for people to share. Yeah. Well, it's a super powerful show, and you're, uh, it's marvelous that you are showing this work, um, and we are really lucky to have it in, in Seattle. Um, so thank you so much for, for talking about it. Maroons runs now through March 12th. More information is at marianibrahim.com. Thank you so much. Thank you.